Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we are going to look again at articles and at a group of words called determiners that we use to talk about things on their own or in groups. We are also going to look at different social groups that people are members of. First, let's talk about some of those social groups that we can join or that we are members of. Alberto, can you think of any groups that you are a member of? Mm, I am a member of this class. That's right, you are. Now, Linda, can you tell me a group that you belong to? What does belong to mean? Belong to means the same as to be a member of. Okay. Mm, yes, I belong to the chess club at university. All right. Sylvia, are you a member of any social groups? Yes, I am a member of the football team. Okay, so that's three groups that we can talk about. The football team, the chess club, and our class. Can you think of any more examples, Sylvia? I am a member of my family. Of course, we are all members of our families, aren't we? Any more ideas? People sometimes join political groups. Very good. So we can add to our list of social groups, political groups, okay? Mm, people are sometimes members of the religious groups. Very good. So religious groups are social groups too. Okay, so let's look at our list. First we have the chess club and we have our families. We can also belong to political groups, maybe a football team, and religious groups, and our school class. Okay, so we have the chess club, family, political group, football team, religious group, and school class. Okay, let's look at some sentences about these groups. She is a member of the chess club. I belong to a large family. There are many different political groups. Do you belong to the football team? He has three friends in his school class. We don't usually ask questions about which religious groups people are members of. Okay, let's try using some of these words in questions. Alberto, do you belong to a large family? Mm, yes, I belong to a large family. Okay. Sylvia, we know the answer to this, but are you a member of any sports groups? Yes, I am a member of the football team. Of course. Linda, which social groups do you belong to? I belong to the chess club and the swimming team. All right, very good. Now, we can talk about which groups we belong to. Sometimes when we talk about people or things, we talk generally. But sometimes we want to talk about special things or people. When we want to show the difference between special things or special groups and general things or groups, we can use articles. There are four articles in English. Okay, let's look at a table to study these articles. Take a look at the screen. First, we have the article A. We use this article when we speak generally with uh, countable single nouns and adjectives with nouns, starting with consonants. For example, a man. Our next article we can use is an. We use an when we speak generally with countable single nouns and adjectives with nouns starting with vowels. For example, an old man. We use the article the when we speak specifically using nouns and adjectives with nouns. For example, the man this one we're talking about, or the people when we're talking about this group. 
Sometimes we don't use an article at all when we use special names like people or cities and countries. We also don't use articles when we talk about all other people or things in a group. For example, New York people or all people. Remember that it is how we say the word, not how we spell it, that determines if we use a or an. Take a look at some examples. We say an hour because we don't pronounce the H, so it sounds like a vowel sound. Same with an honest man. We don't pronounce the H. We say a university because university sounds like a Y sound. Same with a European. We don't pronounce, we pronounce the E and it sounds like a Y. Okay, let's look at some examples of sentences using articles to talk about social groups. He belongs to a large family. We don't know which family, so we use A because it's not specific. She is a member of the school chess club. This is a special group because there is probably only one school chess club, so we use the specific article, the. People are very interesting. We're talking about all people, so we don't use an article. I am a member of an English school. We don't know which school, so we use the article an, not specific. Let's try some exercises using articles. I will write some sentences on the board, and you tell me which articles to use to complete the sentences. Okay. Mm-hmm. Political parties are social groups. Let's start with Alberto. Can you tell us which article to use? Sorry. We don't use any articles here. Political, our political parties are social groups. That's right. Very good. All right, Sylvia, try this one. She belongs to mm -hmm, school swimming team. Sylvia. She belongs to the school swimming team. Yes. She belongs to the school swimming team because there's probably only one school swimming team at her school. So it's specific. Okay, Linda. The European Union is mm -hmm, economic group. The European Union is an economic group. Yes, good. We're speaking generally, so it means one of many different economic groups. Next example. Politics is mm -hmm, interesting subject. Okay, Sylvia. Politics is an interesting subject. Yes. Politics is an interesting subject. Not the only interesting subject, so we use an because it's general. All right, Alberto, one for you. The family is mm -hmm, important social group. Alberto. The family is an important social group. Correct. The family is an important social group. Again, not the only important one, but one important social group. So we use an. Okay, this is mm -hmm, last sentence for you, Linda. This is the last sentence. Yes, specific. There's only one last sentence. So this is the last sentence. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Now this is the time to look and listen. Look and listen. She is a member of a sports club. Are you a member of the chess club? I belong to a very large family. The United States of America is a group of 50 states. 
the political party is meeting tonight. Read and repeat. Determiners, other, and another, and the other. So when we talk about groups of things, we often need to show that one group is different from another group. We can also talk about the members or parts of the group. To do this, we use a special group of words called determiners. to show the difference between groups. Here is a list of determiners that we often use when we talk about groups or parts of a group. Okay, some determiners are one, another, other, others, the other, and the others. One, another, other, others, the other, the others. Okay, remember how we used the articles before. We were using a, an, the, or no article. Well, we can use determiners in the same way. Let's look at a table to see how we can use these determiners. All right, remember the articles A and N. Well, a determiner would be another to use when we speak generally, like A and N. So I have another brother, meaning I have two brothers. Here's one brother, and here's another brother. And our article the. Well, we can also say the other or the others when we speak specifically about another group. So the other man is my father. So here's one man, there are two men, here's one man, and the other one is my father. Or we have no article, so the determiner would be other or others when we speak about all of the things in a group. Other people like music, but I don't. Now let's look more carefully at how we use these determiners to talk about groups and parts of a group. Take a look at your chart for some explanations. Okay, we have two groups. Group one, let's say, is an English class, our English class. Group two is a Spanish class. In our group one, our English class, we have three students total. So we call the first student one, that would be Sylvia, for example. Another student is Linda, and the third student we'll call the other because it's the last of three, and that's Alberto. So the first one is one, Sylvia, the second one, Linda, is another, and the third one is Alberto, and he's the other. Our second group of students are a Spanish class, and we can say that they are the other students, or just the others. All right, let's look at the next explanation, the next chart. This time, there are four things in the group. So A is the first thing we call one, B is another, C is yet another, and then the last one, D, we can say the other. 
We can also look at the group another way. For example, A is one, B is another, and then C and D are the other ones or the others. Okay, let's practice using some of these determiners to talk about things in a group. Oh, are you ready? Yes. yes. Sylvia, imagine that you have four brothers in your family. Okay, their ages are 30, 24, 22, and 20 years old. What does your oldest brother do? My oldest brother is a doctor. Okay, and what do your other brothers do? They are all students. Okay, so 30-year-old brother is a doctor. You have three others. So we'll call your other brothers the others. So I want to ask you, what do your other brothers do? Right? So I'm not talking about the 30-year-old brother. I'm talking about all of your other brothers, your other brothers. They are all students. Okay, very good. All right, Linda, it's your turn. There are four books on the table. Okay, we have a red book, a blue book, a green book, and the other is a black book. Okay, take one book, Linda. Okay, I took red book. Red book, okay. <coughs> take it away. Good, now take another book, Linda. Mm, I took black book. Okay, we'll take the black book away. And another book. I took blue book. Okay, so we'll take the blue book away. What color is the other book? The other book is green. Yes. Okay, the other book is green because it's the last book. So we can say the other book. Okay, Alberto, now it's your turn. This time there are four pens on the table. We have a red pen, a blue pen, another is a green pen, and the other, the last one, is a black pen. Okay, take one pen, Alberto. I took red pen. Okay, good. Now, take another pen. I took the blue pen. Okay, blue pen is gone. And another pen. Mm, I took the green pen. Okay, green pen is gone. What color, so what color is the other pen? Mm, the other pen is black. Yes. We can say the other pen because it's the last pen in the group of pens. Okay, Sylvia, back to you. This time we have what? Phones, four phones on the table. So we have a red phone, a blue phone, okay, another phone is green, and the other phone is black. Okay, Sylvia, take one phone. I took the green phone. Green phone, okay. 
And what's the next phone you, you took? I took the black phone. Black phone, good. And take another one. I took the red phone and the blue phone. Red phone and the blue phone. Okay, so how many phones are now on the table? There are no phones on the table. That's right, you have all the phones now. Okay, let's do a little more practice talking about social groups and using determiners. Sylvia, you start. Okay, you ask a question about the groups that Linda belongs to. Okay. Linda, do you belong to any social groups? Oh, uh, yes. I belong to the chess club at the university, and I'm a member of this club class. Do you belong to any other social groups? Let me see. I'm a member of my family. Good, Linda. Now ask Alberto a question about the groups he belongs to. Okay. Uh, which groups do you belong to? Mm, I'm a member of the uh, swimming team and uh, I am a member of the photography club. Um, do you belong to any other social groups? Only my family, I think. Good. Okay, Alberto, ask Sylvia a question about the groups she belongs to. Sylvia, which social groups do you belong to? I am a member of the football team and the baseball team. Um, do you like sports a lot? Yes, I love play sports. All right, that's very good. Now it's time for us to be members of the Look and Listen Club. Look and listen. My other brothers are students. Take another pen off the table. What color is the other book? What colors are the other pens? The other book is red. Read and repeat. Okay, we've been talking about people, objects, or things in a group. Now we're going to look at things in other groups. Let's look again at the chart of groups one and two. Before, we talked about things in group one. When we want to talk about different groups, not group one, but group two, we use other and a plural noun or just others. But we don't use a noun with plural determiners. So we can talk about things like this. A is one person, B is another person, and C is the other person. X, Y, and Z are other people or others not in this group, in a different group. Because X, Y, and Z are not in group one, our group, we use the other or the others when they are not a part of the group that we belong to or that we know about. Let's do some practice talking about groups when we don't know how many things are in the group or about groups that we don't belong to. These groups usually have an unknown number of members or are open groups which can have an unlimited number of members. So unknown means we don't know about it. Unlimited means it doesn't end. There is no limit. So can you think of any groups like this, unknown or unlimited groups, when we don't know how many members it has? Yes, the number of stars in the sky is a group, but we don't know how many are in the group. Yes, excellent. That's a great example. When we see a large crowd of people, we don't know how many are in the group. 
Okay, another good example. Any more ideas, mm -hmm. Alberto? The group fish and animals that live in the sea. Good. Okay, these are all examples of unlimited or unknown groups. Okay, here are some examples of sentences talking about unlimited or unknown groups. Take a look at your screen. Some people like pop music, but others like jazz. The family and sports clubs are social groups. Others include religious groups and political parties. Muslims and Christians are religious groups. Others include Buddhist and Hindus. France and England are members of the European Union. Others include Spain, Germany, and Belgium. Now let's practice making sentences about these kinds of social groups. I will start. England has a queen. Do you know the names of other countries that have a king or a queen? Okay. We won't answer, but Linda, ask Sylvia a question, like my king and queen <coughs> example. Sylvia, football is played with a ball. Do you know names of the other games played with a ball? Baseball and volleyball. Very good, Sylvia. Now, can you ask Alberto a question? The sun is a star in the sky. Do you know the names of other stars in the sky? I am sorry, I don't know the name of any other stars. Excellent. Okay, Alberto, can you ask Linda a question? Apple and apricot are fruits that start with the letter A. Linda, do you know any, fruit, any other fruit that start with the letter A? No, I'm sorry. I don't know any other fruit names that start with A. All right. Excellent questions and answers, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Washington is an American state. Others include Ohio and Florida. Mars and Venus are planets in the solar system. Others are Jupiter and Neptune. American football and ice hockey are sports. Others are cricket and volleyball. Do you know the names of any other planets? I don't know the names of any other people in the crowd. I know that England has a queen, but I don't know any other countries with a queen. Read and repeat. Listen and write. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. My other sisters are students. I am a member of the football team and the photography club. She doesn't know the names of the other people there. Italy and Austria are members of the European Union. Others are England, France, and Denmark. 
England and Wales are part of the United Kingdom. The others are Scotland and Northern Ireland. The other phones are on the table. What is the name of your other brother? This apple is red. The other apples are green. Do you know the names of any other planets? Do you know the names of other stars in the sky? Now check your answers. My other sisters are students. I am a member of the football team and the photography club. She doesn't know the names of the other people there. Italy and Austria are members of the European Union. Others are England, France, and Denmark. England and Wales are part of the United Kingdom. The others are Scotland and Northern Ireland. The other phones are on the table. What is the name of your other brother? This apple is red. The other apples are green. Do you know the names of any other planets? Do you know the names of other stars in the sky? Now read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. People belong to many social groups. If you ask someone which groups they belong to, they will probably say that they are members of a family or members of sports groups, like a football club. We are all members of a country. We usually say that we are citizens. Other groups include religious groups, political groups, and sometimes hobby groups. When students go to university, they often become members of different social groups, like sports clubs or hobby clubs. They usually join these clubs because they are interested in different activities, like football or baseball, or hobbies like chess or photography. Other examples of social clubs are hiking clubs, political groups, study groups, and, of course, classes. The other important social groups that most people belong to include our friends and the people that we work with every day. Another example of a social group is a chat group that we use the, on the internet. Think about how many social groups that you belong to. You will probably be surprised when you count them all. There are probably more than one or two that you belong to. Now answer these questions. How many social groups do people usually say they belong to? Which ones will they probably say? Which words do we use to talk about people who are members of countries? Which other groups are people usually members of? What are the examples of student social groups? What examples of sports clubs do students usually join? What hobby clubs do students usually join? Which are the other important social groups that students usually belong to? What is an example of a social group on the internet? How many social groups do you probably belong to? Now check your answers. How many social groups do people usually say they belong to? People usually say they belong to one or two social groups. Which ones will they probably say? They belong to a family or a sports group. Which words do we use to talk about people who are members of countries. 
we say citizens. Which other groups are people usually members of? People are usually members of religious groups, political groups, and sometimes hobby groups. What are the examples of student social groups? Students belong to sports clubs or hobby clubs. What examples of sports clubs do students usually join? Football or baseball are examples. What hobby clubs do students usually join? Chess or photography are two examples. Which are the other important social groups that students usually belong to? They are hiking clubs, political groups, study groups, and classes. What is an example of a social group on the internet? A social group on the internet is a chat group. How many social groups do you probably belong to? Probably more than one or two social groups. Okay, good job today. See you next time. Bye. Practicing English. Angie, I think I have too much free time. I really have a lot of new friends here, but I want to try new things. Well, what do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking about joining a social club, like after work. What other ideas do you have? Another thing that I like is travel, and there are some travel clubs in the city. Yes, there are lots. What else besides travel and drama? Well, I really enjoy swimming. It's another sport that I'm good at, so I'm thinking about joining a swim team. Wow, what other ideas do you have for yourself? There's also the ski club and the art society. Both of those are interesting. I have an idea for you. Like what? You could join me in the photography club. Angie, I don't have a camera. How can I join a photography club? Well, you could use mine. Angie, what are you thinking? Well, we talked about this before, and I know that you want to belong to a group or team. The other ideas are fine, but this idea is really different and exciting. Angie, I like the ideas I have, but you're making me curious. What's on your mind? Well, I want you to be a new member of our photography club and go on all the club trips to the countryside with us. And you could be in all our activities, like hiking and sleeping in tent. Angie, you want me to do all that? I don't think so. Really? It would be great. Angie, I'm glad you're thinking about me, but the ideas I have are possible. Your idea is impossible. The others are all boring. My idea is more fun than swimming or reading plays. Belonging to a group is important, and you'd love doing this. I couldn't climb hills and sleep on the ground. Oh, I suppose swimming in a tiny bathing suit is more fun? Well, you have a point there. I do. And what is acting? You make people believe that you're another character. I'm asking you to show people what you see with your camera and have fun doing it. Your ideas are starting to make sense. Yes, like I said, the other ideas are boring. I'm giving you a chance to do something really different. I'll say. Will you at least think about it? I will, but I'm not sure. Well, Alexi, I didn't want to tell you this, but others have expressed interest in being a photographer. You'd have to try out. Try out? What do you mean? Well, a number of other people are interested. You're kidding. There's a competition for this? Yes. We will all meet on Friday afternoon, and those people who want to be members will have a chance to try out. Look, Angie, I have to tell you, skiing down slopes and going to art museums sounds a whole lot more interesting than going to take photos in the countryside. Are you saying that you want this opportunity to go to somebody else? Well, I think that other people may want it more than me. 
I'm simply not that interested. Well, I don't want to hear any crying from you if some other person gets to do it. Believe me, Angie, if some other person ends up doing this, I'll be very happy. Alexei, so this is your final word? Angie, I would like to say that I would think about it, but I don't think that I could ever do it. Someone else will have to do it. Okay, so some other person will take the opportunity. I'm sorry that you won't do it. Sorry, Angie. Thank you.